You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Nike Book One. These are the Nike Book One Mirage. And if you're pretty familiar with our channel, you might know I'm a pretty big Devin Booker fan. So I'm pretty hyped to finally have these in hand. So let's go ahead and dive into the details. The Book One Mirage features a sail in light orwood brown color scheme. At the top of the tongue, you do have Booker's simple yet bold book logo in orange. And on the reverse side of that, you do have his family crest, which I believe is his parents and siblings initials. This tongue is a soft padded twill material, feels very plush. They come with flat laces pre-laced in and going towards the vamp in the toe box of the shoe, you do have a small swoosh, which is embroidered in that same light or wood brown. And you have perforated holes in the toe box, which is this luxe leather material. There is a mud guard overlay, which is the same luxe leather material, which also takes us to the side of the shoe. For the quarter panel, it's consisting of this workwear canvas that feels very rugged and durable. On top of that, you do have a Nike swoosh that's embroidered on, and the Nike swoosh is that same Lux leather material, but with pebbled texture. Right above that, you do have the collar with this suede material with perforated holes. And on the reverse side of that, you have all this cushion on the ankle. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have a brown leather pull tab with 9.6, which I think is his birth year. And within the pull tab, there's these mini pull tabs, which were made to represent actual book spines. And on the heel cup, where the pull tab goes down, you do see that chapter one. For the midsole, you do have this Cushlon 2 midsole for maximum comfort, but what you don't see is the zoom air in the back of the heel and a stability shank plate in the middle. Taking this to the outsole, you have this translucent outsole with that classic herringbone traction. For those of you who might not know, Devin Booker is a guard on the Phoenix Suns. He's also a four-time NBA All-Star. The Book One marks his debut signature shoe with Nike. But before he had his own sneaker, he would sport various Kobe PEs on the court in classics like Chuck 70s and Jordan 1s from 1985 off the court. And he's also had some exclusives with Nike and Converse in the past. He did an Air Force One inspired by Moss Point, Mississippi, where he grew up. And he also did a Zoom GT Cut 2. We did a review on those, make sure you check it out. And he also had his own Chuck Taylor as well. When pictures first surfaced of the Book One in summer 2023, it was met with a lot of mixed reviews. In an interview with GQ, Booker stated how him and the design team set out to make a timeless shoe, something that you could wear 20 years down the line, a future classic. And in my opinion, they did just that. Yes, it's a great basketball shoe as it does feature some of the latest tech. Just the silhouette alone, it looks like a great everyday wear shoe. I can't wait to rock these on a regular basis. I'm thinking of even just wearing these for 30 days straight and doing some episodes to update you guys along the way, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Unlike the limited edition Book One in Clay Orange that released exclusively at Art Basel 2023, the Book One Mirage was the first color to get a wider release. They dropped on February 17th, All-Star Weekend, and they sold out instantly, but you can still grab a pair at a decent price on the resale market, hovering maybe like $50 to $60 over retail. As far as sizing goes, they do run a little bit on the narrow side, so I would suggest going a half size up, as that fit me best. As far as comfort goes, it is still pretty lightweight for having all these premium materials on the upper, and I can definitely feel that zoom air in the heel. I wish there was a little bit more comfort in the forefoot, or I wish they maybe used that zoom strobel that you can find in the KD16, but overall, it's still a pretty comfortable shoe. As far as style goes, I really like this silhouette throughout the course of the season. Booker has been showing us all these different PEs. Hopefully some of those colors get released as well, like the Neon 95 inspired, the shattered backboard inspired ones, and the white purple metallics. Those all look pretty clean. And I'm hoping that these make their way to Nike by you, because I would love to just put my twist on it and see what kind of colors I could come up with. But how do you guys feel about the Nike Book One Mirage? Is this something that you tried to pick up on release date? Did you end up paying resale? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. But do us a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all the support. But let's go ahead and try these on. Zoom flight 95, carbon fiber on the side. Hey.
I'm really that guy. Yeah. Can't touch base, can't hit me offline. I always come through, but I'm rarely on time. My bad been had. They bit that, so I switched that. We be dream team, same click back. Y'all click base, shit's wet. Trash. But you posting your story off top, I skip that. Skip. We in the field, no two hand touch. Big swoosh on the dunks by you and ambush. Trying to push coops with no roof and such. With my head out that bit, I'm cute as fuck. At least my girl thinks so. Now with billionaires, the world's been slow. Super villain like Hank Scorpio. And put on for the city till the curtains close. Uh. Till then, we gon' still win. Yeah. Till I stack a couple mil or in nil 10. Yeah. I ain't tripping off your little friends. They do this, they do that, I don't feel that. Nah, I took some time off, but I'm still here. Yeah. I expanded my bag that I've been in. Yeah. You don't believe me, watch the film then. Go. I hope that you get out your feelings. Please. When you see my name on the field. If you enjoyed this review on the Nike Book One, Make sure you check out all our other Nike basketball reviews right here. We got a bunch for you guys to enjoy. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. New episodes on the way. We'll catch you on the next one.